Howdy guys, I'm going to make a little video that's kind of off the norm for me, but I keep getting uh, a lot of people, including my daughter, ask me how to do this. And uh, what we're getting at here is uh, cover art and the uh, ID3 DAGs in, uh, in uh, your music and MP3 file. And I, I'm just not expecting you to really see this, but you know, on my cover flows, all my photos have, or all my uh, songs have the actual cover date on them, except for, I just put this in here for that. Uh, if you're getting that on your or on your uh, your iTunes or you know your iPod, i i whatever, uh, let me show you how to fix that if you're having a problem with it. Uh, now we're going to switch over to the uh, the uh, computer screen. Now I have a uh, I first have to apologize. I have a very bad summer cold, and I'm going to be coughing during this, and I apologize. All right, what we have here is what I've decided I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, you know, you find whatever program you find or wherever you're finding music, and you get the ID3 tags. A lot of time they'll have these, you know, some crazy file name, you know, whoever ripped it, whoever did what, whatever. Uh, the artist may not be exactly as you like it typed. Uh, I'm very meticulous about how I catalog my MP3s. Uh, you know, I have all the uh, the different uh, artists in here, and then let me find somebody I might have uh, multiple albums. Um, then when you go in, you'll see I have the the date and the uh, the year the album came out and the album name. Uh, and then on uh, the songs themselves, I'll have the actual track. And I like track number, space, the little dash, another space, and then the title uh, is how I like my, uh, my MP3s to be cataloged. Uh, I do that for all of them, and I put the, I put the year in front of them that way. I just, I kind of know when, uh, oops, uh, you know, when the albums came out, so on and so forth. But anyway. The program I use for that is Tag and Rename. Uh, I'm not going to tell you where to go get it. You can go buy it. There's plenty of pirate sites that have it. Uh, figure it out. Uh, one of the things I've been doing, what I like about this program is it'll show you the bit rate of the music. One of the things I've been doing is going back through and fixing my old MP3 files. You know that, that I have lower bit rates. I'm finding up, you know, three 320 bit rate. And uh, going through and replacing them, but uh, what we have here is uh, this is an album from 2003 from Apocalyptica, Reflections Revised. Well, currently there's no file data, or I'm sorry, there's no uh, cover in these songs. They don't have the genre, they don't have the track. Uh, they have Apocalyptica spelled differently than I actually do have it spelled uh, in my deal other in that they have it on all caps uh, and I don't like all caps so the first thing we're gonna learn to do is make all this data match now some of these you'll have you know these people put crazy comments in there that when you're when, when you're playing your uh, your song you'll see their comments you know go to this pirate website go to that pirate website so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to pick a file, which uh, here's the one I changed, uh, you know, some crazy file name, blah, 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 and we're going to copy all that data from that focus file. Here we have the title of the year, Apocalyptica, spelled all in caps. No genre, no comment. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check the comment box. And leave it blank that or erase any comment that might be in one of these albums. I'm gonna take the genre and I call this rock uh, metal. Oops. And then I don't I have a hard time typing. And then I don't like it in all caps, so now I have it in uh, upper and lower case. Now I hit save tags, and if you watch here, all these will change. 
see they just go down through boom they're gone the next problem we have is we don't have the track number in the metadata of the video so we want to get that so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get tags from the file names so here's the file names and we see here we have crazy file name 03 fairway so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fix the crazy file names so we're going to go to refit rename files and we're just going to do this one because that's all I changed I guess I should have changed them all no yeah so if we uncheck all these other songs and if you leave them all checked it would do these all but seems how we're just going to do crazy file name here you see these little percent signs and numbers this will tell you what we have here like percent one is the artist if you like the artist and the album and the track you can set this up in any way you want so we're going to rename these files how we're going to rename these files is I want 06 track number and percent two which will be the track name <coughs> excuse me first we need to get all our tags from the file names here we have percent six which is telling us that that's the track number and percent two which is telling us that's the title but that's not actually how we have it the first thing we're gonna have is a comment so we're gonna put percent nine in there because that comment is this crazy file name whatever you have so if we want, we want to get rid of that percent nine then we have a space and a dash percent six then we have a space and a dash so that is telling us exactly that is going to tell us what this actually equals so if you preview it it'll tell you that the file name is this the title is fairway the comment is crazy file name and the track is 03 so we're going to go ahead and write the track tags and you see there it says that it's track 03 that fixed my track without me having to go one, two, three, four, five. So, uh, oops, get to that in a minute. We're going to go back through and we're going to check all these. And we're going to uncheck our crazy file name one because that's different. And the next thing we're going to do is now we're going to do all these other ones. So, the way these are done, it is first things the track number which is percent six we get a space dash and percent two which equals the title of the song so we're going to preview that and that's telling us here are all the songs here's all the the title of the song and there's all the track numbers those are good so we're going to write them now you can see over here we have track one two three four five six they're all wonderful again so now that we have that we're going to go over here to rename files we are going to tell it what we want the file name to look like. We want percent six, which is the track number, space dash percent two, space dash space percent two, which is the track name. And you'll see here our crazy file name when we're going to get this data from over here. So we're going to preview it. Here's what they used to look like. Here's what they look going to look like. That's wonderful. Hit rename. Boom. Now all my names match. So if you're downloading songs from different places and they have them all done differently you can fix that if it's just completely jacked up and you need to enter it manually you just double click on each song uh, and you can go in and manually edit everything you can add the lyrics uh, all kinds of different stuff here if you really want it <coughs> excuse me but the next thing we're going to get after two is the cover art and probably the last thing I'm going to get into today you can see over here and I have this on multiple monitors I've just searched in Google images the uh, the album I'm looking for and here's a bunch of covers now the first thing I'm going to do those I'm going to go to the search tool and I'm going to go to uh, size there it is I'm going to put large because I like big crystal clear album covers uh, if you highlight these you can see right here it'll show you the dimensions I like anything that is perfectly square first of all uh, 
anywhere over 900 is wonderful for me. Uh, see, that's a little dark. Yeah, but actually, that'll probably look pretty good. Uh, open like a new tab. No, see, I don't like that deal they got there on that. Let's look at this 953. That one actually looks really nice. But you can pick and you can get your album art the way you want it. You can also, if you really want to, that's all blurry. Really like this one. Crystal clear, clear colors. That's actually a CD cover. You can see there's some imperfections in it. Try this one. I'm meticulous about this, so I don't expect you guys to be that blurry. You can be as meticulous or whatever you want. There, I can live with that one nice and crystal clear. Alright, so we're going to go right click on it. Tell it to save picture as. Now I have in my pictures library one that's album covers. And I just save them all the same name. So there's cover. Uh, go into pictures. Album cover. Move this over to the other monitor. Alright, now see, you're seeing, uh, I hope you're seeing, <laughs> we'll see when I go back. As I switch back and forth between the active windows, it should flip you from monitor to monitor if I have this set up right. So, uh, here we're going to go to just our first album. Make sure all that's right. We're going to come over here to our cover. We're going to grab it and we're going to drag it and we're going to put it right here. You just drag it right there. I don't know if you're seeing the drag real well but drag it straight to there now it's in there we're going to save and next it's going to take me down to the next file but you also see it puts a little picture here and puts a check mark in it i'm going to come back over here i'm going to grab this drag it save and next back here grab it drag it drag it over here save and next come back over here grab it drag it over here drop it save and next and you just go through this one at a time and uh, puts the album art in each and every one of your albums. Uh, I have not and I have looked a way to batch put all these in here. Maybe somebody can tell me and they'll show me something. But I, the only way I know to do this is do it one If you have multiple monitors, this goes so smooth. Uh, all right, now we have all that. We got little blue check marks by all our songs. Uh, everything is just handy dandy. We got our names right, artist, all that right. 2003. Next thing we're gonna do is uh, just click off it somewhere. We're gonna open up where the file location is, and for me, I'm gonna change this to. Uh, what year was this album? I forget now. Uh, 2003 click off it because and if you don't click off it what it's going to tell you is the file is in use when you try and rename this that's why you got to click off it so uh, go up here change this to 2003 now I'm going to take that I'm going to cut it I'm going to add it to my file. <coughs> Excuse me. There, now I have that added added to that. Uh, now we need to add it to iTunes. Uh, I add my uh, 
albums in individually. I do not just blanket an entire directory. So I'm going to go File, Add Folder to Library, and I'm going to pick that specific file. So we're going to go to Apocalyptica. Actually, we're going to go to these three because I've just actually put all them in there. And we're going to select folders. We will see iTunes go to work. Add all that stuff. Now that's all added. We're going to come down here. Now we have <coughs> those three albums. The only thing that's going to be bad is it's going to check them all. Which, if you check them all, that's uh, fine for you. I only check the ones that I want to play when I do. I add everything to my iTunes on my big computer. Not so much my... Uh, My laptop, I do song by song on my laptop, save space. Uh, but you go down through, you can uncheck all these ones we just added. But we'll pick one. Leave me alone, was fine. It's got our album cover in it. If I had this set up differently, you could see it. But, uh, that's it. That's how you do use tag and rename. Uh, like I said, you can go and get them on a different, couple different places online. Uh, you can go to tag and rename's website and buy it. Uh, you can, uh, sorry about that. Uh, you can go to a bunch of different pirate sites and get it however you want to get it. That's fine. But uh, that's how I change that. Appreciate you guys watching. Have a good day.